Hi everyone, this is Eric Appleton. Um, in this video I want to show you how you can uh, read comments from your teacher in Google Classroom. Um, so this is our Google Classroom and I'm logged in right now as a student. I'm logged in through my student account. Um, and so this I think is what it looks like for you as well when you log into Google Classroom, at least on a computer. Um, there is a long way to see the comments that for me, and then there's a short way, and I'll, I'll show you both ways. Um, I think I'll show you the short way first. So, the actually, the easy way to read a comment from me is to go to your email, because so, you should get a message from me when I leave you a comment. So I'm going to go up here to the top, and I have my Gmail, my student Gmail, open. So I'm going to click up here, and now I'm in my... Uh, Gmail account and you see there's a number of messages from the class or about the class. Um, so there's information on how to connect to Zoom, <clears throat> information about upcoming workshops. But if you see here at the top, you see how it says Eric Appleton added a private comment on find an advertisement. So I'm going to open up this email, clicking on it. Um, this was an assignment where I asked you to send in an advertisement. Um, from a grocery store or from somewhere else and, and many people turned in assignments and I gave you some feedback and comments on those assignments. So here you can see that teacher me gave student me a, a feedback or some feedback, a comment. So you see it says nice photos, I like the two for a dollar corn dogs that are love at first bite. So that's my comment and uh, you can respond or you can just read my comment, that's fine. If you wanted to respond, you could just click on reply. And that will automatically open up Google Classroom where you can write a response. So I'm going to go ahead and click on reply. And as you see, it opened up the find an advertisement assignment. And we're in Google Classroom. I can tell because we're in Google Classroom because of the icon up here. That's that little pink icon there is a is that pink or magenta, I guess, is a, is a Google Classroom icon. So here's the assignment. Um, and you'll see on the right side, here is the work that I turned in. Here are the two photographs. One was a photograph of corn dogs, two for a dollar. And here are the comments from the teacher. Um, nice photos. I like the two for a dollar corn dogs, right? So, oh, and then there's another comment for me. You see there's more, you can put more than one comment. If you bought five corn dogs, how much would it cost? And so student me can respond, right? So you can respond to the teacher. We'll see, let's see, if uh, corn dogs are two for a dollar, how many would, how much would five corn dogs cost? Well, f let's see, it seems to me that one corn dog costs 50 cents if they're two for a dollar. So five corn dogs would be five times 50 cents. I think that's two dollars and 50 cents. So I think it would cost $2.50 for five corn dogs. And then I can hit this little button here to post my comment. So you can see that the icons are different. So this is teacher me and this is student me. But you can write back and forth between the teacher. Um, and So that's the short way to see comments from your, from your teacher. Um, there's a longer way that works as well. Um, if you go, I'm going to go back to Google Classroom, the window I had open before. So this is the main screen. If you go to Classwork, you can go to any one of the class, or sorry, any one of the assignments that you have turned in, and then you can look and see if there's any feedback there. So for example, if I click on Find an Advertisement, if I scroll down and then I click on View Assignment, here are the comments, here's the work I, I turned in. So one thing you might do is you might go through each of the assignments just to make sure you've done them and then see if there are any comments from your teacher. So for example, um, making equivalent ratios with advertisements. I could click on that, look, click on view assignment. Mm, I haven't turned this one in yet. And there's no comments from the teacher because I haven't turned it in, so there's, there's nothing for me to respond to. So that would be something I would still want to work on. I can go back here and see. So you might go to each of the 
activities, go and click view assignment, and then see if there are any comments from your teacher. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.